Hi everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another video for my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be using the Reverse Hearts stencil from Simus's Stamp, and I'm planning to do something a little bit different with it today. I'm going to use it as a template to create a design for watercolor. Starting out with some Arches watercolor paper, and this is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm placing my stencil over the top of the watercolor paper, and then I'm gonna flip both over and tape the stencil to the back of the watercolor paper. This is going to allow me to use that design of the stencil edge to edge without having tape get in the way. I'm gonna flip it back over and take a pencil and very lightly outline each one of these hearts. I don't wanna press the pencil too hard down onto the paper because eventually I'm going to erase as much of the pencil lines as I can. So I'm going around and making sure I get each one of those hearts. And then when I'm done, I can lift that stencil off and I'm left with tons of little hearts over this entire area. To prep the area for watercoloring, I taped it down to a board so that I can add lots of water and as it dries, it will dry flat. And then I pulled out some watercolor paints. This is the Tropicals set of watercolors from Prima. And I'm only using two colors. I'm using a pink shade and also a purple shade. And I'm going to kind of paint around these hearts and have the color kind of morph from pink to purple to back to pink, things like that. I wanna have some fun transitions of color, but I don't want it to be too precise. In fact, I had never tried this particular um, way of making a watercolor background, and so I wasn't sure if this would actually work. I just thought, you know what, it's been running around in my head that I need to try this, so let's just try it and see if it works. So about halfway through painting all this, and I was being very precise going around all these heart shapes at the beginning here, I started to think, I don't know if I like this. It's not quite as clean as I had hoped it would be. And so I was going to stop painting. And then I decided, you know what, just go ahead and finish it since we're halfway through, just finish it. So the second half of this painting, the right side, um, I'm not as precise going around all of the hearts, but in the end, I actually kind of loved it. I liked that it had kind of a very sketchy look to it. And I'm glad I kept going because I really enjoyed how it turned out. So if you're working on something like this and you're not loving it, work on it just a little bit longer to see if maybe it comes together in the end. After I had most all of it painted, I wanted some darker areas. So I did drop in some more intense areas of color and then added more water to kind of wick away that darkness and get it to blend in a little bit more. Added just a darker purple area and also a darker pink. After this, I let it completely dry and then came in with an eraser and erased any of those pencil lines that were exposed. Now everything that's under the watercolor is trapped. It's not going to erase, but everything else that I did not paint over did erase. I'm now going to use a die from Simon to create a large greeting. This is the friend outline die. And I'm going to use some black cardstock, also from Simon. And I'll just run that through my Big Shot machine so that I have all those letters cut out. So I'm gonna use the rest of that black piece of cardstock and stamp one of the greetings from the Love Messages stamp set. And I'm gonna stamp that near the bottom. I want this to be a really narrow strip, so it's going to work out really, really well for this. I prepped the area with an anti-static powder tool just to help me as I stamp and heat emboss. And I stamped the greeting in Versamark ink coated it in alabaster white embossing powder from Brutus Monroe, and then heat set that with my heat tool until it was smooth and melted. I then did a lot of cutting of cardstock here. The first thing I did was trim out that I love you sentiment, that narrow strip. I also cut down my watercolor piece so that it is now five and a quarter tall by four inches wide. And I also cut a strip of vellum so that I can adhere that friend outline die cut. So I used some Connect Glue from Gina K Designs and put little dots of glue on the back of each one of these die cuts and then held it with my tweezers as I pressed it down onto the vellum. And I just, this took a little bit of time. It's a little time consuming to glue all these down, but I do love how it turned out. I love those outline letters. And as a bonus, you have the interior of the letters you could use as well. 
I then adhered that I love you strip to the bottom of the vellum strip, and I lined up the words with the left edge of the word friend. I then took it to my cutter, and I trimmed this off so that it's four inches wide, so it's the exact width of my watercolor piece. So I just trimmed that down, and then I'm going to adhere this greeting piece to the watercolor paper using a very thin strip of foam adhesive. This is some thin strip adhesive from Darice. And I'll line that up on my grid mat and then press that down onto the watercolor paper. Before I adhere this to my card, I'm going to do some additional stamping. There are some small heart stamped images uh, included in the Love Messages stamp set. I'm going to use those. I'm going to use the two smaller hearts and a stamp in black ink over this watercolor piece. I thought it just needed a little bit more black to kind of bring in the black on the greeting. And this really sets off that heart shape. And I think it gives it a lot, of, a lot more interest to this card. Then put some foam adhesive on the back of the watercolor piece and then adhered that to some Nina Desert Storm environmental cardstock as a card has a card base. That's my card for today. I hope you guys enjoy. This is a really fun kind of Valentine's Day card to make, but a friend card instead of a romantic love. I think it's kind of fun. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys for a new video on Monday. <laughs>